expectations, British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has opted to go to the polls months earlier than expected. In a rain-drenched Downing Street, he called a general election for the 4th of July. Earlier today, I spoke with His Majesty the King to request the dissolution of Parliament. The King has granted this request and we will have a general election on the 4th of July. The opposition Labour Party needed no encouragement. They've held a consistent lead in the opinion polls of some 20 percentage points for months. Time now, said Keir Starmer, for change. A vote for Labour is a vote for stability, economic and political. A politics that treads more lightly on all our lives. A vote to stop the chaos. Rishi Sunak has taken a decision at odds with some within his own party who called it madness to go to the country when you're so far behind in the polls. It seems the Prime Minister has decided that after a poor showing in local elections and with rumours of dissatisfaction with his leadership inside the party, that things are unlikely to get any better. The Prime Minister insists there is a plan and the plan is working. But many people see too little evidence of that in failing public services and no end to small boat crossings of the channel, despite a plan to send asylum seekers to Rwanda. Sunak's promise to keep Britain secure ahead of what he describes as the most dangerous years since the Cold War and to restore the economy to health. The Prime Minister pointed to falling inflation as a sign that his party is best placed to end three years of a cost of living crisis. If only voters will give it five more years in Downing Street. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, London. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.